Hi guys, welcome to my welcome back to my channel. It's Lehman. So today is <coughs> doll haul day. Yay! Oh guys, I have been so going crazy all this week. Because I was sort of kind of worried that these packages wasn't gonna get here until Monday. And which I'm kind of hoping that that didn't happen. So I'm luckily two of them ended up coming. So I still have two more packages coming. So one of these packages that one of these product these items that I purchased um, is a kind of like a bittersweet moment because uh, one of them was sold at um, Toys R Us, and it was in a Toys R Us exclusive. Unfortunately, because it was a Toys exclusive, yeah, that means that getting it is going to be almost impossible. So, I ended up purchasing four dolls. Only two of them got here, but I'm going to review the two I got now. And if it looks like I'm eating on something, I am. I'm eating some whole cough drops because, ugh, I keep coughing. <coughs> Anyway, so my first doll I ended up purchasing was I do have the DC Superhero Girl dolls. I have almost, I have all the original, I think it's six that came out, which is Wonder Woman, Bumblebee, Holly Quinn, Supergirl, Poison Ivy, and Batgirl. I have the original six. I also now have a... Katana because I absolutely love her character. Unfortunately for me, they ended up bringing out some a little bit bigger, which was the 18-inch uh, DC Superhero Girl, which were made by not my wasn't made by Mattel. They were actually made by Jack Pacific, and I end up getting my hands on one of them, which is Wonder Woman. I'm going to show you what she looks like. Now the first. This is my first one like this, and I didn't have this one. And I'm going to show you what she looks like. And this is her. This is the 18-inch Wonder Woman. And I will say one thing about these dolls. Their photos do not do them justice. These dolls are absolutely gorgeous. Her hair is super soft. Oh, my God. I just love touching it. Super, super soft. I love how curly it is. So pretty. It's very beautiful. Now, the lady I ended up purchasing her from basically said in the thing that she was basically just a display doll. So, they bought her, and they were just using her as a display doll. She ended up coming with all her, 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 um, her accessories, which uh, she gave me a little baggie with the rope and the belt, her bit, and Wonder Woman's belt. I do have her stand here so her stand is definitely here she has great articulation and i'm going to go over articulation Hello. now for her articulation she's articulated in her neck her head moves perfectly she articulated in her shoulder in her rib in her elbows in her wrist in her bust Waist, knees. I don't think her feet move. Her shoes can be removed. Her pants, uh, they feel like leather, and you can remove the pants. Same way. And here's the beauty about them. What you do, if you don't, you don't want them dressed as superheroes 24-7, and which I'm pretty much am not going to keep her dressed as a superhero, you can basically bag her... Her superhero stuff up and just turn her into like a normal girl. Uh, the only thing I don't that that just just weird is that that hand. But I know that's just to hold something, so it's no big deal. I love the cuffs. She comes with her cuffs. She is a beautiful doll, and this little um, shoulder pad thing that comes with her. And this is what she looks like. Now the dolls that are in this line, there is a Holly Quinn, and which she's very difficult to find. That might explain why she's so expensive on eBay. There is a Bumblebee, in which I do want Bumblebee. Uh, there is a Batgirl and a Supergirl. Now, 
The one that that, that kind of gets me is the fact that they never. I don't think they brought out poison ivy. At least not yet. There is not a katana, but I'm kind of hoping that when he does decide to bring the rest of them out, that they'll start selling them at Target and Walmart. Oh, if only. And then you can really get them for a good price. So, I'm kind of crossing my fingers that they'll start doing that. Since, unfortunately, Toys R Us is closing down. And I think Saturday was the last day for Toys R Us. So, this is my very first 18-inch DC Superhero Girl. And I ended up getting Wonder Woman. Because she's absolutely one of my favorite superheroes. When it comes down to it, <coughs> Wonder Woman will always be my number one superhero no matter what. So... I had to get her, and I had to own this doll. So, as you can see, she's so cute. And like I said, their pictures don't do them justice. This doll is beautiful. So, as you can see, yes, I love her. So, and then I ended up getting a second doll from, somewhere, from eBay as well. Now, this doll is very interesting. She is a 19-inch doll. And her, the name, and she was made out in 1975. Now, in 1975, I was a child. When I say I was a, no, I'm sorry, I wasn't a child, I was a baby. Yeah, I'm that old. So, that makes this doll 44, 40, 40 yeah. <coughs> that makes her 44 years old. She's old. Her and Barbie, which is the 18-inch Barbie, were in, well, competition with each other. Uh, basically, Taylor, her name is Taylor, T Tuesday Taylor, and um, the, the bigger one, which I ended up getting the 19-inch one, and I'm going to show you what she looks like. And this is her. This is the 19-inch, and her name is Taylor... Um, Um, Taylor something. I forgot what her name was. I know it's Taylor. This is Taylor. It's not Taylor Tuesday. Tiffany Taylor. I'm sorry. Tiffany Taylor. This is the 19-inch Tiffany Taylor doll from 1975. She is a in direct. She was in direct competition with the 18-inch Barbie. She is 19 inches tall. To find her new in the box, you will have to pay a lot of money for her. I've already seen her, and the, the highest price I've seen for for a brand new one in box is almost 100 and something. Her hair can flip around. And she can be, she can change from blonde to brunette. If you, if that's what you want her to be a blonde or a brunette. She does have <coughs> basically that ability. So she has a brunette in the back and she has a blonde. The beauty about this one is she actually has rooted eyelashes. And she's huge. She's absolutely huge. Now this little outfit here, I actually have another one. Because one of my 18 inch Barbie dolls actually came in one of these. So I was, I kind of figured this is where it came from. And she has Velcro on the front. Where she actually had a like a drape or something, where you could drape it and you click to here, and basically it's a, it. This basically was supposed to be a gold dress. Now she's a very beautiful doll. I do, however, those legs. Yeah, we're gonna definitely go cover those up. Now the person who sold me this one, she actually I didn't see this in the listing when I bought purchased her, cause I was thinking. She wasn't going to come with any shoes. But apparently, she came with shoes. So these are her shoes that she wears. And, yeah, wow, nice. They're nice shoes, but I have only one issue with them. They're ugly. I hate greens. This is not the color you want your doll to have. But anyway, you can pretty much paint them. But other than that, she's a beautiful doll. I do have another one of these coming that was bought from a different person. 
these dolls are gorgeous. I absolutely love them. She's beautiful. And to get a doll that's uh, basically old like this in this age and she comes in this beautiful condition, this is a rare find in itself. Sometimes you see them and they in, they're in good condition. Sometimes you see them and they're in worse condition than this. Luckily, you can reroute these girls if you want to. There, I don't know. Some I I've seen someone actually remove their the top of their skull. It looks like she's on a peg system on the top of her skull, and if you heat it up, you could probably pop her skull off. But she is a beautiful doll. She she doesn't have a lot of hair. Uh, it's sparsely rooted, but it's there. She is beautiful, and I'm gonna have so much fun with her. And I got an extra goodie. I got a pair of shoes for her. Now, I don't think my other one's going to come with shoes. I'm not like 100% sure. Because I only saw her. Kind of like I only saw her in the picture. She doesn't come with a stand. And her movements is she can move her head. She can move her arm. Up and down. She has the basic, uh, I think they said the basic five points of articulation. But other than that, she's a lovely doll. And she'll make a great addition to my doll family. And I can't wait to add more. And I'm hoping I can get the African-American one. But so far, she looks like she's going to be one of those. She's going to be another Chrissy from the 18-inch Barbie line line. So the African-American ones are difficult, but they are so pretty. And I really, really want them. I really, really want one. But other than that, this one is beautiful. She's absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love this doll. I'm going to have so much fun turning her and, and dressing her up and changing her outfit oh, and cleaning her hair. Oh, I'm going to have too much fun this week. So, guys, if you're looking for the uh, Tiffany... Uh, um, uh, the, these dolls, I'm not going to say it because it's hard to remember her name. Because I definitely will change her name because it's annoying me. Uh, Tiffany. I'm just going to call her Tiffy. So if you're looking for these Tiffy dolls, and you should get a nice, you know, they were made by the company known as Ideal. And these are the guys who brought out some of our favorite board games, uh, which is um, like, um, uh, I can't think of none of the board games. I probably played some of them when I was a kid. But anyway, this that's the company that brought them out. And these are beautiful dolls. And if you're like a doll collector like me, adding her to your collection is a must-have. So I'm not... Some people may not like her. Some like her. Some don't. Some do. I like her. I love the fact that she has those beautiful rooted eyelashes. Uh, she may need a repaint and a lips. But it doesn't look like whoever owned her did a pretty good job with her. They kept her nice and clean and everything. She is going to get a wash either way it goes. She does have that wiry hair, y'all. You should know. If you purchase her, she's got that wiry hair. But other than that, this is the larger version of the Tiffany Tuesday doll, which is um, Taylor Tuesday. I call her Tiff. And this is the beautiful Taylor... Um, Tiffany Taylor doll from 1975, I did, the ideal company. This company is still around, and I wish they were still making more of these, but yeah, these are gorgeous. Guys, if you want these dolls, they are at the perfect price. You can find them, you can probably find her better than you can find the African American one, but if you can find the African American one, guys, don't pass her up. She will be a prize, be on a prize. So I'm hoping I get my paws on her. And like I did to Chrissy, I will not pass her up if I find her at a good price. So until then, guys, until tomorrow, guys, I do have two more dolls to bring you. And um, when they get here, I will review them with you and I'll let you see them. And I'll kind of give you a little hint as to what I'm going to do. Unfortunately, when it comes to making them over, you probably won't get to see those two makeovers until next month. Unfortunately, I'm still babysitting. So <clears throat> don't forget, guys, next month. Probably by the end of next month or the, after August, I will be bringing you a box opening to my new BJD. And until then, guys, peace out, love you, and happy belated 4th of July.